Your future wife is currently getting piped by other men because your testosterone is too low to attract her. You see, as men, we are in constant competition with each other. We're like in a marathon where you always have to sprint. And a lot of guys are doing all the bad habits like eating junk food and watching porn. No wonder they have a lack of drive and purpose and no aggression inside of them. So they fall behind in the race. I know it sounds brutal, but these guys deserve to have their future wives fucked by the men who actually have the confidence to flirt with them in a masculine way. However, we've recently tried to eat healthier and improve our sleep. We started going to the gym and doing all the habits we see on YouTube. So why does our testosterone still feel so low? In this video, I'm going to reveal the testosterone tripling protocol that I condensed over 100 hours worth of videos, educational podcasts, and science-backed studies into, explain why everything else we tried didn't actually work, and give you a free testosterone notion checklist that will make it really easy to stick to the protocol. So stay around until the end for that. Before I get into the things that increase testosterone, we first have to figure out why we still have low testosterone despite being on self-improvement and doing all the supposed good habits. We're doing the things that every YouTuber, every article, and every doctor says, but it seems like something's missing. There's something out there that's messing us up, and that is estrogenics. An estrogenic is something that binds to the estrogen receptors in our body. In simpler terms, it's something that increases the estrogen hormone in the human body. It's what started the feminization of men we've all heard about and probably even experienced. In the first module of the testosterone protocol, I'm going to tell you what the most common estrogenics are and how to use the 80-20 rule to avoid them. Number one is plastic. Wearing 100% cotton underwear, buying a non-plastic toilet seat, and getting a glass or stainless steel water bottle is going to get you most of the results. Number two is tap water. Tap water is full of estrogenics like pesticides and birth control that leaks into the water supply through wastewater. To avoid this, simply install a water filter. Reverse osmosis works well. Number three is soy, flax seeds, and seed oils. A lot of vegans argue against soy being estrogenic. I personally don't like it enough to keep eating it. Look out for these in most processed foods, including protein bars. Number four is cosmetics. Fragrances are highly estrogenic, along with many ingredients in shower gels, soaps, deodorants, sunscreen, and skincare products. So how about you do some research on the next product that runs out and replace it with a clean one? Number five is putting your phone in your pocket. This one isn't an estrogenic, but it has been shown to reduce fertility and testosterone. Now there is an extensive meta-analysis of dozens of studies, and it very convincingly shows that keeping the cell phone in one's pocket, and it does not matter if it's on Wi-Fi or you're using cellular, decreases sperm quality and lowers testosterone overall, which is perhaps not surprising given the known heat effects of the phone. Just hold it in your hand wherever you go. You'll get used to it in a week. The second step to tripling your testosterone is following the caveman diet. And I can already sense the Redditors commenting, no, you can't have red meat. All that cholesterol is going to give you a heart attack. This is complete bullshit. The truth is that cholesterol is the building block of testosterone. And once you become aware of this, you begin to realize a part of the reason why it's so vilified in the modern day. The caveman diet means you get a lot of your calories from animal products like meat, organs, and raw dairy. But you also eat fruit and honey like our ancestors would come across. Red meat has some of the most important nutrients for testosterone like creatine, taurine, zinc, and vitamin K2. If you want to maximize your testosterone production, you need to eat beef and at least four eggs for the healthy fats and cholesterol every single day. Trust me, after you implement this, you will feel it immediately when you wake up. The third module of the testosterone protocol is the warrior lifestyle. There are five main habits that will significantly improve your testosterone levels. The first one is semen retention. There have been studies where testosterone was 50% higher from doing this, with some people even tripling it. The next habit is sweating. When you sweat, you release microplastics from your body. Dr. Anthony J recommends using a sauna for 10 minutes at least three times a week or working out in thick clothes so you can sweat that estrogenic shit out. The third habit is the testosterone workout. It has been shown that the most effective workout for testosterone is doing compound exercises for six sets of 10 heavy reps with a two minute rest between each set. The next habit is grounding. Grounding greatly reduces inflammation in the body, therefore reducing cortisol, the hormone that lowers testosterone. The last habit is speaking with women. It has been shown that if you have just a short conversation with a woman you find attractive significantly boosts your testosterone. So talk to girls every time you have the chance. The fourth step to reclaiming your testosterone is vitamin D maxing. A group of men took 4,000 IU of vitamin D per day for eight weeks, while the other group was given placebo pills. 
At the end of the study, the researchers found that the participants who took the vitamin D had a 41% increase in testosterone. So just take some pills and you're good, right? It gets a bit more complicated than that. You see, most vitamin D pills on the market contain the estrogenic seed oils we talked about earlier. So you can't rely entirely on these pills. You have to actually get in the sun. So if I'm taking vitamin D3, I still need to get out into the sun. Correct? Okay. I think a lot of people don't know that. I think people are really afraid of getting out into the sun because they're worried about melanomas. But to be honest, I'm as scared of sunscreen as I am of melanoma. A lot of things in sunscreen are downright dangerous. So I think there are sunscreens that are safe, but it's very hard to figure out which sunscreens are free of these compounds. Add a 15-minute walk to your routine where you expose as much of your body to the sun. And most importantly, don't wear sunscreen since it blocks the UVB rays that produce vitamin D. If you know that you burn easily, don't do the full 15 minutes straight away. Go for a few minutes and increase it over time. In addition to the sun exposure, you still want to take at least one 2,000 IU vitamin D pill a day, so you max out your testosterone, as a lot of people are deficient in it. There are some pills that don't contain seed oils, so look for ones with coconut oil or olive oil. The fifth and final module of the triple testosterone protocol is the primal mindset. This is the most important part of increasing testosterone. What we think about has a direct impact on our bodies. If you think of something sexual, your dick will start to get hard, even if you don't touch it. This means you can genuinely make changes in your body just by using your mind. Let me give you another example. Imagine you are about to give a presentation in front of your whole class. You think that it's gonna go really bad. Your head is full of negative thoughts, and so your whole body is shaking. Your heartbeat gets faster. You can't speak right. You can't even walk properly. And this is all because of your mind and what you think we can literally use our minds to generate more testosterone. One thing about testosterone is that it makes you defend your status. It makes you hostile towards those who are below you and are trying to get what you've got. And there are millions of men out there doing just that. They see you've made some money from your little online business and you have built some muscle, but if you don't keep working even harder, they're gonna surpass you. You have to convince your mind that every day someone's trying to take your place in the status hierarchy, because that's the reality. These things are happening. Your so-called friends would literally fuck your girlfriend if given the chance. Your testosterone is the highest when there is a guy who is trying to take what is yours. So remind yourself every day that other men are trying to take what you've got. At the start of the video, I told you that I was gonna give you a free Notion checklist to help you implement all the steps in this video. To get it, click the first link in the description. With that being said, just having high testosterone isn't gonna get you more girls if you don't look attractive. So watch this video to find out the habits that every glow-up YouTuber is hiding from you.